All right, good afternoon. Welcome to the next instalment of the Cole Clark Guitars extravaganza here on Anderton's TV. It's Acoustic Paradiso, which means it's probably Monday, uh, and I'm Ben, and it's lovely to be here. If you've not yet watched the previous Cole Clark video where we went through the Fat Lady series, uh, I would recommend going and looking at that first. There's a link below, only because I went into the, the whole pickup system on, on the guitar in quite a lot of detail on that video. So I won't go through the pickup system in, you know, I won't go through it with a fine tooth comb again in this video, but I will just say it's the same pickup system in here as it was on the Fat Lady um, series that we did the last video on. It's still got the, th the same three-way system, six piezos under the bridge, the, um, the body sensor on the brace and the microphone. Um, taking care of their respective frequency ranges very well. So here's, just very briefly, here's the piezo. I'm gonna blend in the uh, face sensor to a, it's about two o'clock on the blend knob there. And then I'm gonna put the microphone in again to about two o'clock, roughly. So there we go. And that's the setting I'll use on all these guitars. So, the construction of these guitars is also very different, also addressed in the previous video. Um, and the construction of these, this model is, is very similar. It's still got the Spanish heel neck joint, which is a kind of a big part of the way they uh, design this guitar. Um, and it's still got these pretty incredible Australian uh, solid tone woods. This model I have here has got the bunya top and um, Queensland maple back and sides. It's a three piece back. The grain on these is just wonderful, nitrocellulose finish, all that good stuff. Um, as we mentioned in the last video, these guitars are designed very much to be plugged in. They're performance guitars, you know. Um, it's not designed to replace your, you know, your Martin or your Collings or anything. It's designed to go out and play gigs, uh, loud gigs, where hopefully the fancy pickup system will not feed back. So um, you heard me playing this in the intro plugged in. I'm just going to turn this PA off. Again, I'm using the Fishman SA330X, currently on an epic deal at nearly a thousand pounds off the list price. I think this whole thing with the sub and everything is going for 899. So if you, yeah, if you want to buy a PA system for when we're allowed to gig again, you could go a lot, you could do a lot worse. So anyway, acoustically, this is the Angel Grand Auditorium Acoustic with the Bunya top and the Queensland maple back and sides. No pickup. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad sound acoustically. Like the Fat Ladies, it's a quieter kind of natural acoustic sound than you might expect from a guitar of this size, but that's fine because it's designed to be plugged in. So plugged in, it sounds, it sounds killer. Uh, Grover tuners, again, the setup on this is really, really nice, straight out of the box. Similar neck profile to the Fat Lady, 25 and a half inch scale. And um, yeah, again, a good, like a really solid, gigging guitar, I would say. This one uh, being the kind of the most affordable of the range comes with the Cole Clark gig bag, which is really cool. You know, it's, it's, it looks like a really tough gig bag. I don't know what else you could want really from that. So let's move on to the next one.
right. So uh, this is the kind of next step up in the Angel range. Um, this one here that I just played, the non-cutaway with the Bunya and the Maple is uh, 1149. This one retails at 1649. Uh, construction is the same. The woods on these are slightly different. We've still got the, um, the Bunya top on this one. Uh, very different kind of figuring to the last guitar. Uh, but this one has the um, Australian Blackwood back and sides. So in case you missed my kind of Tonewood <laughs> talk in the last video, the Bunya top is similar-ish to Spruce and the Blackwood back and sides are kind of similar to Koa. Um, but again, it's all kind of local, sustainable woods um, grown in Australia with this a wonderful three-way pickup system. And it's great, actually. This, um, this one sounds mar markedly different to that one acoustically. So let me, let me turn the uh, PA system off and uh, play some of the acoustic sound. So yeah, it's good. Uh, powerful, um, again, as with all the Cole Clark guitars, a little quieter acoustically. Um, but yeah, plugged in, it's great. The setup's great. The feel of the neck is, is really good. I'm very impressed with the kind of consistency um, of the quality of these, straight out of the case, I have to say. Um, there's been no buzzes or other nasty surprises that you might sometimes get. So yeah, uh, this one comes with the Cole Clark hard case which i've picked up entirely the wrong way around there you go it says cole clark on it and it's a hard case uh, there you go it's great yeah so there we go 1649 uh we'll move up to the uh, the next one along in the range i think Here we go. So this is the all Blackwood version of the Angel. This is the Angel 2 Grand Auditorium cutaway, obviously. Um, but yeah, the body and the body back and sides and the top, it's all Australian Blackwood. So that's the, the, the wood that's closest to Koa. It's the toughest, stiffest wood um, that they use to make guitars from. And it is ideally suited for doing what I was just doing and bashing super hard uh, on it with you know for, for a strummer it's a great guitar um but that's not to say you can't pick it too i'll do some finger picking now so you can hear what it sounds like um and then we'll hear it acoustically too um in terms of the fit out on it i mean it's 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 <laughs> got this beautiful wood i really like the headstock on this one actually i don't know if you can really see the flame and and, and the grain on the wood on there but it's because it's got this slightly domed top it really brings out the grain in that really nicely. Anyway, I'm getting entirely distracted from picking some songs. So uh, I'll play it finger picked first and then uh, we'll hear it just with the microphone so you can see what it sounds like there. So. <laughs> It's not all the uh, muscle. It can do the kind of delicate stuff too. Let me mute the um, PA. So this is what it sounds like entirely acoustically. I'll, uh, I'll start quiet and end up loud.
The playability on these is uh, super easy, so that's great. Um, let's go to the top of the line of these angel shape guitars now. All right, so um, topping off the, uh, the Cole Clark Angel range um, is this, which has got uh, the, this, this really very impressive uh, redwood top. Um, again, in the last video I covered this briefly, but the redwood is uh, California redwood, but it was planted in Australia 150 years ago. So it's all, it's all local to the Cole Clark um, factory and is all sustainable. Um, it's the closest in terms of kind of tone and feel to um, a normal cedar top really. And in terms of kind of playability and feel, it feels similar to a cedar top guitar. So it's the softest of the three tops that, that we're offered. Um, these are also available in left-handed models by request. And um, yeah, this is a beautiful guitar. It's got the gold Grover tuners, the uh, blackwood back and sides, Spanish heel construction. So, you know, the construction on these is all the same. It's the tone wood and, you know, some of the kind of the appointments, the inlay again on this is really nice. The, I, I really like wooden kind of inlays and binding on guitars. I think it looks cool. And, um, and these do. So if you are, if you're in the market for a guitar to go out and play big loud concerts with or to just be able to plug in and know that it's going to sound really nice straight away the Cole Clarks are definitely a good option for that um, yeah the pickup systems is really cool and one thing I didn't realize they had on the last lot of models because I was sat at the wrong angle it's backlit inside the preamp <laughs> all these which again it's going to be useful on a dark stage so I'll do a little bit with the pickup turned off so you can hear it sound acoustic sound it's sound acoustically uh, and then I'll turn it back on and play a sound so here it is with no PA. So acoustically, it's got a great sound, uh, like all the Cole Clock models, slightly quieter than you would expect, but that's probably uh, worth it. If you're in the market for a guitar that you want to play for gigs, you can kind of, it's, it's still plenty loud enough to practice and, you know, play with friends, play on the sofa, play around a campfire or whatever. Not, you'd probably take a two grand guitar camping, but you might. Um, <laughs> But yeah, plugged in is where these guitars really come into their own. And um, these are all really, really nice. And yeah, quality across the range, super consistent setups and action and everything. It's wonderful. So anyway, let me unmute this and uh, play you out. I'll see you next time. As ever, click below, subscribe. There's links uh, and more information about all these guitars. Uh, and do check on the website because all the guitars on the website have their own pictures because of this the kind of vast difference in, in the, the appearance of the grain and stuff. Tonally, I think uh, the variation between, you know, different bunya tops is not that great, but visually and aesthetically, it's entirely down to what you like. So here we go. See you next time. All right.